Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another information technology lesson. Today, we're going to be looking at databases part four, specifically relationships. And we're going to be looking at creating a relationship between tables in a database. Of course, you know that so far we have been looking at one particular database, and that database is our bookstore database. And here we have it on screen. So, so far we have created three tables and we have populated those three tables. We are going to go ahead now and we're going to create the relationships between the tables. But just before we do that, I want to highlight something in the order table. And in order for me to highlight this, I'm going to go to the design view of the order table. So I'm going to double click on the order table. And that is what we have in the order table thus far. And I'm going to go to the design view. You will notice here that I have two primary keys. With those two primary keys, in the previous lesson, you only put in one primary key. But what we have here is called a concatenated or composite key. And this is where we have to join two or more fields to create a unique field or unique key. In this case, we have joined the CID, which is customer ID. And we have also, we have also gone ahead and we added the PR ID, which is our product ID. So in order for us to be able to create a concatenated key, we simply highlight the two rows that I'm going to take it off just for demonstration purposes. So we highlight the two rows and we go to the design tab and we click on the primary key that will allow the primary key option to appear on both of the fields. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save the changes I just made to the table by clicking on the save icon. And then I'm going to close the table and we're going to continue with creating the relationships. In order to create the relationships, we click on the database tools tab from the ribbon, and then we click on relationships in the relationships group. When you have done this, the show table dialog box will appear on your screen. All we need to do for this database is to add all the tables. So I simply, from the bottom, highlight all three tables and click add. Alternatively, you could have individually clicked on each table and click the add button, or you could have individually double clicked on each table. I'm gonna click on the close button. And just for you to be able to see the different relationships that will exist between the three tables, I'm going to pull down the order table. I did this by clicking at the top of the table where the name is, or just anywhere at the top of the table, holding down the mouse and dragging down. Now to create the relationships, the first thing you need to do is to identify the fields that are the same between tables. Between the customer and order table, the CID is the same. It is important to note that whenever you're creating a relationship between tables, you must use the fields that are the same. What do I mean by that? The spelling must be the same, the data type must be the same, and the field size must be the same. They must be the same in every sense of the word. To create the relationship, I'm going to click on CID, that is with the leftmost button. I'm going to hold down that button, and I'm going to drag it over and place it directly on top of CID in the order table. When you notice that the cursor has changed to that white pointed cursor with the box with the plus sign, you release your mouse and you're going to check enforce referential integrity from the edit relationship dialog box. Click on the create button and there we have our relationship. 
This relationship is a one-to-many relationship with one customer being able to have many orders. And this symbol is the infinity symbol. I'm going to do the same thing again with the product table, but this time I'm going to be using the product ID from the product table. And I'm going to click and drag and place over PR ID in the order table. I'm going to release my mouse. I'm going to do the same steps again, enforce referential integrity. And then I'm going to click on the create button. This is also another one-to-many relationship. If the tables had a one-to-one -one relationship existing between them, then you would have one beside the num numeral one on one side of the relationship line and the numeral one on the other side of the relationship line. All right. And that is simply how we create our relationships. We click on the save icon to save it. I'm going to right click on the relationship tab and click close. I would like to say thank you for watching my video. And if you have enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more awesome videos.